A rising civilizational power also needs to build its reputation. Part of being Bharat is also to be clear-headed about your own interests and not being swayed by what necessarily is not in your own interest. This decade of transformation is not just of smart people coming and changing foreign policy. It has changed because the country has changed. There's a combination of changing society, building capabilities, looking at the world, setting out your course, and then having the, the willpower to pursue it. India, where it stands today, Bharat as it emerges, where do you think these these two facets are going to emerge. Do you, do you have a sense of what could be those internal constraints? Well, yes. Uh, I think the internal constraints are pretty obvious, uh, you know, to all of us. Uh, uh, it would be that, let us say, after the first 60 years after independence, if you were to look uh, at basic socio-economic indicators, how many of your homes are connected to electricity, how many to piped water. Uh, you look at your literacy rate, you look at your gender ratio, uh, you look at your nutrition level, you look at your health system. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's, it's fairly clear that uh, in a lot of this, uh, we had not done what we could have done, what other countries who had started off at a similar base uh, had done. So a, a lot of, and, and you know, that's kind of at a very basic level, but beyond that is really, as I said, these deep, uh, deep strengths, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, uh, today you have, if you want to be a major power, you have to have the technology capabilities of a major power, and you will not have the technology capabilities of major power unless you have a major manufacturing base from which that technology grows. Uh, so I would say at different levels we had fallen short, uh, sometimes out of uh, challenges, sometimes out of choices, uh, sometimes out of vested interest, call it what you will. So you have this, this decade of transformation is not just of foreign policy, you know, uh, smart people coming and changing foreign policy. It has changed because the country has changed. Mm. I mean, what has changed within the country today gives many more uh, options and possibilities mm. uh, for us. Mm. Uh, so, uh, but there is the willpower and the, uh, the and the commitment side as well. So, so I think uh, you know, there's a combination of changing society, building capabilities, looking at the world. Uh, setting out your, your course and then having the, the willpower to pursue it. As India and Bharat begins to influence um, its own course and implicates others as well as it rises, would you still receive the same enthusiastic welcome into this new role? As we have, as we did when we were, let's say, a one and a half trillion dollar economy uh, struggling to meet uh, lit our literacy requirements, energy requirements, food requirements. Do you think, as we as we grow in our essence as well as in our in our economic presence, you are going to face resistance even from unlikely quarters? Um, I would certainly say we receive more respect. Okay. okay. All respect doesn't translate into enthusiasm. Okay. There will be some countries who will respect you, but will be uneasy. Mm -hmm. There will be others who will respect you, genuinely admire you, mm -hmm. uh, and say, okay, what you have done today could be me tomorrow, or the lessons I can learn. So, and there would be those who would say, uh, you know, you are bigger now, you are more influential, by the way, we can have a new deal out here, mm -hmm. we, we can work with each other. Mm -hmm. So if you take the world in three categories, those who would uh, be uneasy, those who would genuinely admire, feel, uh, and those who would be willing to do more business with you, you can broadly categorize the nation. In those three apart. categories. Yeah. You also have, through the book, engaged with uh, Lord Rama's brother Lakshman. Mm -hmm. And in fact, even in your opening remarks, you mentioned every Ram needs a Lakshman. Mm -hmm. uh, he was the alter ego, he was the moderator, he was sometimes the expression of Ram's anger, he was sometimes uh, the one who soothed, uh, frayed nerves. He played multiple roles. Uh, of course, he was a warrior and he, he won key battles uh, in the 10-day war. Problem solver. He was a problem, yeah. everything, he was multiple things. Yeah. 
but he was certainly the person who was very important for that journey and the emergence of ram so let me ask you a question since we are in january month of january is uh, france lakshman to india <laughs> i'm just asking no uh, i i have a section on france in the book and i have many references to lakshman so you figure that one out 